April Morrow. I'm down at the Auburn Eagles. I just taught a cha-cha lesson, and Art and I are going to demonstrate what we did. A um, little summary here of our lesson. We did a back spot turn out of an open break and then led it into a ladies outside turn. And it looked like this from close down to position. We started off in the box step four. And so one, two, three, four of five, six, seven, eight of one, two, three, four of five, six, seven, eight of one, two, three, four of five, six, seven. A couple of things for the leads and follows. Um, leads, your prep to let the lady know you're going to do an open break is that you are going to lower your natural hand holds, your left or her right, on counts four of five. We'll stop when we get there. Ready, and one, two, three, four of five. Art lowered his hand, and I went, aha, I'm going to do an open break. He creates compression. I respond to him by compressing equally into the open break for six, seven, and what this does is generates energy for the back spot turn four. The eight of one, two, three, four of five, and into the rest of the pattern. Whether you want to give her a turn or whatever you're going to do there. Um, one thing, let's demonstrate for the gentlemen their footwork. We're going to turn this direction. So, um, guys, after your open break for six, seven, when you can press her here for six, seven, you're going to go. Five. Take the right foot, hook it behind. It'll look like an E7. Then you're going to take your free foot, which is your left foot, and rotate, and it comes back to the 11 on the triple. Then on your double rhythm, make a 7 11 again. 7 11. Now, when you give the lady an outside turn with your left hand, same thing. 7 11. And just put your weight down on your right foot, and then you'll rock step forward for two, three, and rather you want to turn the lady or just pick her up right there is up to you. For the follows, ladies, when I get an open break, hand comes down, I know I'm doing an open break. Action, reaction. I need to respond equally with equal compression. If I don't, what happens is he compresses, my foot doesn't go back, my hip doesn't take any action in my dance, and my right hand goes back. I break my frame, and then I don't get sprung back into the man's arm. So when you get compression in dance, respond to it with equal compression, and that will whoosh you into his arms um, for whatever next step he's going to do. And that is what we did down at the Auburn Eagles tonight. Thank you.